Is coffee beneficial or detrimental for those managing diabetes? This question brews considerable debate. While coffee offers antioxidants, its effect on blood sugar and insulin sensitivity is complex. Understanding these impacts is crucial for diabetics. This piece explores the nuanced relationship between coffee consumption and diabetes management, providing clarity for those looking to enjoy their cup of joe without compromising their health. Let's dive in. Number 1. Blood Sugar Levels Coffee influences blood sugar levels primarily through its caffeine content. Caffeine can interfere with insulin action leading to a short-term rise in blood glucose. This occurs because caffeine may hamper the way insulin helps glucose enter cells for energy. Consequently, after consuming caffeinated coffee, some individuals with diabetes might notice a higher-than-expected blood sugar reading, particularly after meals. However, the response to caffeine can vary greatly among individuals with diabetes. It is instructive for those with the condition to closely monitor their blood sugar levels after drinking coffee to understand their personal response. Adjusting coffee consumption or opting for decaffeinated alternatives may be necessary to maintain optimal blood sugar control as part of a comprehensive diabetes management plan. Number 2. Antioxidants. As we continue, please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. Coffee is rich in antioxidants like chlorogenic acid and polyphenol, which can play a protective role in diabetes management. Antioxidants combat oxidative stress, a condition marked by damaging free radicals that is notably higher in individuals with diabetes. Oxidative stress contributes to the complications of diabetes, including heart disease, nerve damage, and kidney problems. By neutralizing free radicals, the antioxidants in coffee can help mitigate this stress, potentially reducing these risks. For diabetics, incorporating antioxidant-rich foods and beverages like coffee could, therefore, offer therapeutic benefits. However, moderation is key, and it's important to consume coffee without added sugars or high-fat dairy products that could negate these benefits. Number 3. Metabolic effects. Coffee consumption has been linked to several metabolic effects that might influence diabetes. Epidemiological studies suggest that regular coffee intake is associated with a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This protective effect may be due to the ability of the bioactive compounds in coffee, such as chlorogenic acid and caffeine, to reduce the accumulation of hepatic fat. Improve the function of the beta cells in the pancreas which produce insulin and enhance the metabolic rate. These effects can improve the regulation of blood sugar and insulin sensitivity. However, in individuals who already have diabetes, the response to coffee can vary, with some experiencing an undesirable rise in blood sugar levels. Diabetics should monitor their own glycemic response to coffee and consult with healthcare providers to assess its role in their diet. Number 4. Caffeine Sensitivity Caffeine sensitivity refers to the varied individual reactions to caffeine, and this variability extends to those with diabetes. In diabetics, caffeine sensitivity can significantly influence blood sugar control. Caffeine can impair insulin action resulting in elevated blood sugar levels for some individuals. This response can be particularly pronounced after meals, when caffeine may exacerbate the typical rise in blood glucose. For others, there may be little to no noticeable effect. Diabetics should be attentive to their body's response to caffeine. Monitoring blood sugar levels before and after coffee consumption can provide insight into personal caffeine sensitivity. Understanding this can guide dietary choices regarding caffeine intake. Number 5. Blood Pressure In diabetics, managing blood pressure is vital due to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Coffee, specifically its caffeine content, can cause a short-term spike in blood pressure, even in those without diabetes. This transient rise is thought to be due to caffeine's stimulatory effect on the nervous system 
which increases heart rate and constricts blood vessels. For those with diabetes, who may already have compromised vascular function, regular caffeine intake could contribute to fluctuations in blood pressure and potential endothelial damage over time. It's advisable for individuals with diabetes to monitor their blood pressure response to coffee and consider moderating intake if necessary. If you find that coffee impacts your blood pressure, consider exploring decaffeinated options to minimize this effect. Monitoring your own response can help you make informed decisions about your coffee consumption in relation to your diabetes management. Number 6. Hydration. Coffee's diuretic effect especially when consumed in large quantities, can lead to increased urination. This can raise concerns about hydration, a state that's particularly important for individuals with diabetes, as they may already be at risk of dehydration due to elevated blood sugar levels. While coffee in moderate amounts isn't likely to dehydrate you, excessive intake may contribute to fluid loss. For diabetics, Staying well hydrated is essential because proper hydration helps to regulate blood sugar levels and kidney function. To ensure hydration is maintained, it's beneficial to balance coffee consumption with plenty of water throughout the day. It's also wise to pay attention to your body's hydration cues, like the color of your urine, and to drink fluids accordingly to stay well hydrated. Number 7. Weight Management For Individuals with Diabetes Weight management is a critical component of disease management, as excess weight can exacerbate insulin resistance. Coffee, when consumed without added sugars and high-calorie creamers, is low in calories and can be included in a weight management plan. The caffeine in coffee may offer a slight boost in metabolism and can increase fat oxidation, potentially aiding in weight control. Additionally, the stimulatory effect of caffeine might provide a short-term appetite suppressant effect, which could help reduce overall calorie intake. However, it's important to approach coffee consumption with mindfulness, as specialty coffee drinks often contain high levels of added sugars and fats, which can contribute to weight gain and negatively impact blood sugar control. In summary, coffee can be part of a diabetes regimen considering its antioxidants and potential metabolic benefits. However, due to caffeine's impact on blood sugar and blood pressure, moderation is crucial. Opting for black or decaffeinated coffee is advisable, especially when monitoring weight and hydration. Diabetics should tailor their coffee consumption to their individual health responses, always prioritizing blood sugar stability and overall well-being in their dietary choices. You might also want to watch this video on effective drinks to lower high blood sugar in diabetics. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.